Okay, so I'm going to show how to make simple plots with vectors and points. So first I'm going to clear everything and then we'll start with two points. So on the XY plane I'm going to make point P will be equal to, for instance, 1 and 2. And then we can plot it simply by saying plot P1 and P2, the X and Y coordinates. So I can put a comma and I want to plot it in red, like a circle, red. Let's see if that works. So there's my first point. Let's make a second point. Q equals, say, 5, 6. And then we can plot the second point. Plot Q1, Q2. Also make a red circle. And run. Okay, so the first thing is it will only draw the second circle so we need to tell it to hold on to draw more than one thing let's try that again so there's my one circle there's the other circle and it's way on the side so we can change that I'm gonna say X limit let's take it from 0 0 to 8 and we'll do the same thing with a Y limit. Take it also from 0 to 8. Okay, let's see how that looks now. Run. And that looks a bit better. We can also add a grid. So grid on. And there's our two points. Now I want to create a vector to connect the two points. So for that, I'm simply going to say vector v, so v equals to from p to q, so q minus p. And then, let's plot the vector from the origin, so say 0 to v1, which is the x. And from 0 to v2 which is the Y coordinate, and let's make it blue. So it will not connect the two lines at the moment, but it's from the origin. So you can see that it's in the right direction from the first point P to Q, but it's not connecting the points yet. So to do that, we need to use parametric equations. That's quite easy. So if you look at the vector, it's clear. Okay, so let's just V, run this, is 4 and 4. So it will go up in the, in, uh, right in X, and then up in the Y direction to connect the dots. So we simply need to use parametric equations. First we need to create a parameter, T equals lin space. And if you use 0 to 1, it will connect the two points. And then for, say, the x will be equal to your vectors x code um, value which is 4 times t and then we'll use p so that the vector will go from p to q so I'm going to use 1 and 2 so for x it's going to be plus 1 and y will be equal to 4 times the parameter t plus 2 for the y value of the point p and then we just say plot x, y, let's make it red. And that should do it. Let's see. So there's our vector from the origin. We've written a vector into from the one to the other point using the, the parametric equations. What you can also do is to make a little arrow. So let me just comment this out. We can just say quiver. So that will be from 
P1, so the X, Y, and then 4, 4, 0. So it will be from PX, PY, which is 1 and 2. It will go on the X another 4, upwards 4, and there's no scaling. So if you click there, you've got a nice little vector going from the one to the other instead of drawing the line with the parametric equations. Now, what if you want to make a normal to the line? So you've got your, your slope, which is 4 over 4, which is 1. And if you multiply it with your normal, you need to get minus 1. So for a... A normal in two space what I'm simply going to do is n will be equal to and I'm going to swap v1 and 2 so v2 comma v1 so I'm going to change the x and the y and then you have to multiply either one of them with a minus and to make it a, a normalized vector or a unit vector rather All I'm going to do is going to say n is equal to n divided by the norm of n. So it's magnitude to get a unit vector. Let's see if that works. So I've got n here at the bottom. And then let's draw another quiver. So quiver, quiver. let's start from P1, 2, then we say n1. N2, so that's our vector, and no scaling. And that should be a normal vector. So there's the normal to our line. You can do, also do it with the parametric equations, but um, I think this is easy enough. Okay.